number three of 1500. Hello, thank you for watching. First things first, we do have a Twitter. Follow us there, and we also have an Instagram, and we will be doing something very special with our Instagram. I will explain later. Facebook is too, is up and running, and follow us right here if you're watching on YouTube. If you are watching on our website, www.allsapiens.com, thank you all so much. You are an absolute superstar for watching it there. We have a discuss feed so you can post kind of a little bit of data and information, more lengthy, lengthy, lengthy discussions. But first thing, these are my paintings. Part one, they can't stop Trump. Let's start, let's start, let's start. Let's start with a tweet, right? Uh, somebody said this, so like, like the Dems lost the House, I think it was in 2010. 2012, Dems lost the Senate again. And then 2016, Dems lost the White House, right? So in 2017, Dems lost the ability to reason. So it's not, it's not treason, it's not Russia, it's not, it's not anything. It's, it's, it's you, right? It's, the problem is with, with you. Why, 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 why do Dems keep losing? Or why do they keep losing during this time frame? Was it because... What happened? What happened? What was it? Because they, they went radical, hard, hard, hard left. Extremist, kind of radical leftist, kind of predatorian, pseudo-communist, proto-communist nonsense that scares all liberals and conservatives alike. So, anyway, like lambs to the slaughter, people came and it was like identity and denial of autonomy, number one. Number two, dismissing the voice. Number three, selective perception. Like, what? When you can't use name calling and stuff, like you can't, you can't, you can't, you just can't ignore the truth anymore. It's like simply just, oh, dismiss them away from memory as being part of some conspiratorial foul play, you know, whilst conveniently ignoring the other, let's say, three billion odd people, diverse people across the globe who support this president. But remember, it was like, like the odds were what, like 99% for the other one to win so they're not actually when they make those kind of odds people aren't actually looking at data they're not actually looking at evidence they're not actually looking at what's going on they're not actually listening because when you can get something so catastrophically wrong you clearly haven't been paying attention right you clearly are selectively perceiving things you clearly are not paying attention because it offends your beliefs right well that's you're not doing your job they're not your citizen you have to pay attention don't you so evidently it isn't me that people have beef with it's not me it's not me you have beef with it's the billions of people in your across the world and especially those in your country who support the president you know the people who once upon a time would dismiss as universally utterly deplorable you know using every other name every name under the sun but in fact the evidence has shown these people come in all races, all sexes, all classes, all colours, all creeds, orientations and nationalities. I mean, after you enter that corridor, you choose not to enter, honestly, for fear of encountering other people's true perspectives, honestly, that don't sit comfortably outside or uncomfortably outside of yours, you know. The biggest fear is not being able to conveniently label them away as some contemptible identity group. They're your friends, they're your people, they're your brethren love them, don't just other them, you know, it would be best to start from the perspective of the individual person in question, you know, one such matters, and not from your own top-down radical leftist identitarian worldview, you know, but I know how hard it is for you since your identity is so intertwined with your political ideology, because you really, you, you don't really have genuine faith, you know, the genuine religion, so you're, you're using this part as a pseudo religion, we get it. So it's like it's it's nigh impossible, nigh impossible, right? Impossible to look at anything, anything really, really dispassionately. You put all your passion into into an kind of activism, actively. You know the same mental gymnastics are at play here. When you avoid having to look emphatically through the worldview of cultures and people different than thyself, only only through what you already view them as such. And if there are upper or lower in your estimation, you treat them accordingly. You have that Marxist vision of people, you know, the groupishness, you know, no, 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 for that matter, to look deeper at one's own model, you know, ideological lens, it's like Trump hate, Trump hate, you know, but there's still, there's still, there's still a very, very large, large crowd of many young people, mainly well-educated whites, not, not, not about the ones who take themselves too seriously, who despise Trump, but at the same time have feel that the, the radical left has turned against them and what they believe in. So they, they, they see the new left as racist with that anti-white, you know, publicly sanctioned bigotry and oppressive, you know, the anti-free speech, literally the 
foundation in the bedrock, but we'll talk about later. The oppressive PC culture makes them feel like a stranger in their um, liberal social circles. What should they do? They can't voice their doubts for fear of being ostracized. They certainly don't want to think of themselves as Trump allies or supporters. Why? Because they lack, well, they lack, they lack that fundamental thing that men should all have. They lack, they lack courage and vision. They deep down know they are Trump supporters, but you know, it's the, it's the suburban dilemma. You know, it's, it's the hate Trump, love wheezing, hate being classed as an, an insensitive, rapey racist because they are white men. Of course, they're gonna hate that. You know, dilemma amongst you know these male friends and male sons and male cousins and male nephews, but not but not among the girls, you know. The girls have been conned into this girls school, mean girls kind of intensely regressive tribal female ideological corner by radical third wave feminists. Indoctrination, especially in the uh, new online media and such, and they, they gang up on women and it's even harder for them. It's hard for the boys still, but the boys will grow up later and then they'll realise I should have said something, you know? But, you know, despite 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 evidence to the contrary of these precious voting groups and voting blocks recording numbers, record numbers for the new president, people like us, you know? So, 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 so one group's uh, emotional over-the-top reaction born from an inability to gracefully accept the feature so you elect Trump out of spite for your disgusting ruling class who thought it's okay to play divide and conquer over nonsense identity politics by sucking up to big money rather than uniting the whole country make America great again united united symbol everybody in this together you know everybody 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 is bigger than at some level as a Christian you learn not to throw stones and accusations but to look inwards and that then and then, 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 look in the self, and then look at the self again, whilst realizing, reaching out, reaching your hand back out to the other. You know, I mean, that's 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 the human heart, right? It's it's it, it's dark, right? It's dark, and there's all there's a patchwork. Quickly talk about. I mean, look at this policy. We are going to get up and say, you know what the problem is? It's you. It's me. It's all of us, right? It's all of us. It's all of us. Okay, now for the difficult part. That was difficult, but this is difficult in, in another way. So every day I will, I will endeavor to post a, a video of my, my thoughts, my, my, my paintings and my perspectives, or other people's perspectives, not just mine. This is all, 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 all a collage of thoughts. I will do one a day. If it takes, if it takes longer than expected, I might even post two or three a day just so I can get the 1,500 of them done, maybe over 300, 400 maybe paintings. It's, it's all ideas, aesthetics, it's all people, it's things that are, are, are people find interesting, people find fascinating. Not necessarily I find interesting or fascinating, but they are for some and that, that is enough. So I, I want, I need to fund this and this is the way I'm funding it this way. The yellow, the pink, the white, the black, the grey you see me wearing, you can wear that or more. I have 15 different colours. We have 15 colours on the website. I hope you're watching on the website. You can just you can you can buy now here and here and here and everything is, is just very straightforward. Uh, and also it will it will show the community of people who do like to think. The community of curious, curious, curious people who don't who don't take themselves too seriously, but take beauty ideas and other people's perspectives very seriously and it's it's just it's wonderful to have this community so I will I will post on Instagram some of you who want to be posted on the Instagram so you get a bit of insta fame that's if you when you buy the t-shirts upon points of sale I will get into contact and say hey would you like to be featured on our Instagram and we have a whole list of the community it's, it's just a wonderful thing and thank you for supporting and here is the link and thank you so much